Well, hi, Brian Jenny here with Allegro Piano Service, and I am in my shop. And before you is a piano that has an incredible case on it. It's mahogany. It's got all this wonderful carving. It's got ivory on the keys. And guess how much I paid for this piano? 50 bucks. I paid $50 for this and I'm excited about it. Shouldn't I be? You know, um, it's interesting because pianos generally have a lifespan of about two generations. So you think of a generation as about 40 years. That means that a piano that's like 80 years or older, you know, when it gets to be about 80, it's kind of at the end of its life. This particular piano is 115 years old, and I'm sure that's going to make all of you guys out there that are fans of Antiques Roadshow just scream, oh, it's got to be valuable. It's 115 years old. Anything that old has got to be valuable. Not the case when it comes to pianos. Not at all. Unless there's some sort of famous provenance about it or other things that are going on in regards to its previous ownership that's well documented, that's, uh, you know, in a a, in an auction house like Christie's or something could look at and say yeah this has value because it's got all sorts of things in its history that are documented you know but the usual when it comes to these old pianos that's not the case and I'll open this up for you and let you see that this is a horrible idea a lot of these sorts of old instruments can be acquired for next to nothing and uh, they're not good instruments to pick up to put in front of your kids or to pick up as a recreational player and think that you're going to be able to take this and use it to learn how to play piano. So let me pause here and I'll open it up. You know the craftsmanship of these old pianos is actually really pretty awesome. I mean even the inside of it has all of this fancy molding. It's got a plate that was just artistically done. I've seen the insides of pianos that have all sorts of really cool artwork and other stuff happening inside of it. Um, but you know, the average person that doesn't know much about pianos would see this, see it at a garage sale, see it somewhere, and they go along and say, yeah, you know, it's got a few sticky notes. Sounds like it probably needs tuning. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll load it up on a pickup truck. You know, not the case. These sorts of circumstances are basically indications that the piano is dead. It's, it's kind of what I lovingly call a piano-shaped object, a PSO. Yes, and it's not worth, honestly, spending any money on. When you get a piano like this that's this old, that has the original stringing in it, any attempt to tune it is going to result in multiple strings breaking, if not a whole lot of strings breaking. The things going on with this action because of the way that it was built, it would be literally almost a rebuilding circumstance. You know, and there are colleagues of mine that do take these old uprights and they do some amazing stuff. But it is a complete remanufacturing process that they put it through. New soundboard, new pin block, everything. And by the time they get done with them, they're asking anywhere between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars for them. You know, not usually the thought that comes to mind when somebody picks something up like this for next to nothing. So I would be super cautious when you see these old instruments. Always aim when you're looking at pianos for someone else or yourself to play at something that is probably within that first generation of its age, meaning it's 40 years old or newer. There have been a few circumstances where I've come across instruments from the 50s that actually were really great. I tuned a grand piano that I uh, placed in a home here in Fallbrook this morning that was just amazing. It had very low mileage on it, was hardly played by the previous owner, etc, etc. But that's not usually the case. So be careful when you're looking at these kinds of instruments. This situation here is not a good one. And this piano, actually I acquired it because I'm going to do some things repurposing it. Something that I'll probably get into at some other later point, but don't do it. Don't buy these old pianos. They really are kind of junk. Okay, thanks for watching.